हम ही बेवकूफ है क्या <laughs> कि हम ही भले बन रहे हैं और दुनिया तो वैसे ही पैसे बना के निकल रही है and as a, as a company we always had a very strong purpose that we are going to show the world hmm. that money is not the means to the success goosebumps uh, if i could show you <laughs> right now goosebumps success is a very lousy teacher failure teaches you 10 times more than success you must see that too like try kiye ja rahe hain fail ho ja rahe hain bas ab itna jaan le ki kaam ke hai tere aansu aur tere dard unhi se chala aur tu bana unstoppable You sound very much like Mahendra Singh Dhoni when you say that. It's a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be controversy. <laughs> I don't want to be in media tomorrow, but. <laughs>
Now, what eSmartWeb was did was for the first four years, we were not directly competing with these people. We were building the software, we were building the relationship with the airlines, we were building our ops team, we were building our technology mm-hmm. while providing services to mm-hmm. travel. Mm-hmm. Now, all that accumulated into us imagining, Are, hum bhi to we to to all the elements are in place. Uh, all the elements are in place. Four uh, years later, we can also become a consumer company. Hmm. So that striped us later. For the first four years, we were happy just being a software provider. And B2B company, to travel agents. B2B company. Hmm. Hmm. Year 2011 or mid, uh, mid of year 2011, I think hmm. things started changing where we realized that the internet is very easy in this country. Mein. And uh, eventually, all these travel agents themselves will become obsolete. Hmm. And uh, WhatsApp came out also. That hmm. when it hit us. Yeah, hmm. yeah, internet is obsolete. I mean, uh, travel agent is obsolete. Hmm. So, what's the point of growing a business where the consumer itself is going to be obsolete? Right? Hmm. Our right. consumer was travel agent. Correct. That is when we took a very, I mean, I don't think so we would be able to take a call like that now. Uh, hmm. But at that time, we took a very ballsy call to say, we are not B2B, we will do B2C. Karte hai. Hmm. And knowing very clearly that if we pivot to B2C, travel agents are going to run away. So, if you look at the records of Eastmart Trip in the year 2012, our revenue, everything dropped by almost 70 to 80%. Wow. Mm. And, and we were just hand to mouth company. Mm. As I said, we were making money. We were breaking even, we were not making money. Mm. So to take that call uh, was something which was very. Uh, you know, I think that we had some competitors who were also creating software for travel agents. They all are vanished. Yeah. They don't exist. Now. Correct. Yeah. So we took that call knowing that we have very little money in the company. And by the way, a lot of people assume that uh, we come from a filthy family. family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we come from a very humble background. If you have trip the documents listed, they are public. Hi hai. Yeah. The first six years, uh, we only put in 15 lakh rupees in the company. Hmm. I loaned a loan for 6 years, but in the first 6 years, I had 5,000,000, 2,000,000, 3,000,000, and I had to put money in the company. I had to put in the company, I had to put in the company, but I had to put in the loan for 6 years. Correct, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was just, uh, you know, a very strong conviction that we have to become a consumer company. We have to become a consumer company. And uh, that played out really well after 4 years. Had we started as a consumer company in the beginning, we would be less struggling. Mm-hmm. would be existing right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, the product ban gaya, relationship ban gaya, then it was fairly easier. Uh, things were not easier. I mean, it's not like consumers are running away from the market. Correct. We had separate sets of challenges. Uh, uh-huh. Starting in 2011, when we became a consumer company, that's uh-huh. uh, a different problem. We will talk about that later. But this is how we got into the market. Wow, okay. Uh, so, Mahinder and uh, uh, Komal have a question which is about how do you retain the technology staff and uh, especially you know it's very expensive and the market was very hot and they run away to the companies and uh, i want to tell them that mahinder komal i'll cover that question myself in later part of the conversation when we talk about the team building but it's a good question that i want to come to i have two, uh, two questions based on prashant uh, what you just said maybe one question you, talk, you spoke about the the ballsy call that you took in 2011 or 12 to become a consumer company and knowing that your b2b business will overnight vanish and which it did, it did. 70% of your consume, uh, customers went away because they f- felt that you were sort of becoming a threat to them and obviously you didn't have an offering uh, for them. And I, if I look at the EMT journey over the years, it has, a, it has, a, it has several such ballsy calls or conviction, I say, in its um, embedded in its uh, journey. For example, this decision to pivot from B2B to B2C. Uh, then, you know, there's so much pressure from 2015 onwards to raise external capital. I mean, the, every business in any domain is raising tons of capital. And I'm sure I faced it myself at intern, inshallah. You must also face it internally, Kya, why don't we raise capital? Then COVID happened, you were about to go for an IPO, but COVID happened and you were the first company to say, we will refund the full money to companies, bank, the customers' bank accounts, not wallet, etc. Right? So there's a lot of uh, so conviction, a lot of recurring examples of courage and conviction that I see in EMT story. And I wanted to know, said, and now you have the, this big, massive dream of becoming the largest global player, bigger than Expedia or Booking.com, etc. So, and you come from a very humble background, right? And I also come from a humble background. So where does this courage and conviction come from? Like, is it part of the DNA or is it something which is, you know, logic leads to the courage, conviction, or is it brothers together? Like, it's probably, it's probably the family. 
it's family. Family. I, you know, when we sit over dinner and mm. discuss about things, mm. uh, it's basically an assumption that the worst is not going to be as worse as people imagine. Mm. The worst is mostly in your mind, not mm. in reality as mm. much. Mm, mm. And uh, that conviction, and uh, knowing that we all are in together, in mm. it. Uh, see, you you just need one person to say that you're not insane. You're just not insane. Ah, yeah. you're not insane. Kar le yaar, ho jayega. Wow. You wow. need one person to give you courage. Wow. Wow. You know, courage is like gravity. As you know, I'm joking. I'm saying, 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 I'm <laughs> Why? Like, can you expand on that? All you need is just one push. Let the Joker statement go. Yeah, right. All you need is just one push. And you spoke about uh, family and you an example around it. Hmm. Uh, 2008 में जब इज्मा ट्रिप शुरू हुई थी, तो hmm. हमें I've said this multiple times before as well. हमें 26 लाख रुपए का लॉस लग गया था दो महीने के अंदर ही. Hmm. 26 लाख रुपए का मतलब जो पहले का एडवांस आया वो लोगों को वो भी चला गया. Hmm. अपना अपना जो पांच छह लाख रुपए था वो तो गया ही गया. लोगों का एडवांस आया हुआ था वो भी चला गया सारा का सारा किसी ने फ्रॉड कर दिया था इट वाज अ क्रेडिट कार्ड फ्रॉड और मी एंड माय ब्रदर्स वी आर थिंकिंग यार ये क्या हो गया एक तो उस कॉलेज में था और मैं जॉब छोड़ के आया था यूएसए निशान ने भी एक जॉब छोड़ी थी लगा कि भैया गए काम से वापस जॉब भी अप्लाई करते हैं एंड देन डैड सेड कि अरे यार कोई बात नहीं एक और ट्राई करो एंड दैट्स द इनसैनिटी व्हिच प्रिवेट कि चलो यार एक और ट्राई करते हैं कोई बात नहीं दोबारा ट्राई करते हैं वो बैकग्राउंड डू डैड हैव लाइक यू आर सेइंग यू स्पोक ऑफ फैमिली सो डिड यू डैड कम फ्रॉम बिजनेस बैकग्राउंड हैव बीन अ पोल ट्रेडर अ पोल ट्रेडर पोल ट्रेडर है वी हैव सीन अप्स एंड डाउन्स इन दिस इन द बिजनेस हां मतलब सो बेसिकली आई वुंट से दैट यू नो ही ही ग्रो अस ऑल वेल ही प्रोवाइडेड अस व्हाटएवर वी नीडेड फॉर बट ही हैज बीन मीडियम साइज और स्मॉल मीडियम साइज पोल ट्रेडर बट वी हैव सीन Uh, how businesses are done. For example, I remember. In fact, one of my friend also remembers this incident, where my dad uh, lost a lot of money in um, in one of his uh, you know clients, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I must be like eighth, ninth grade at that mm-hmm. moment. And but if I was his uh, accountant, almost mm-hmm. after sixth grade, my papa's mm-hmm. accountant. Hmm. Okay. Uh, अभी भी थोड़ा बहुत देखेंगे ना पता नहीं देखता बट मैं पापा का हमेशा मैं अकाउंटेंट रहा हूँ तो मुझे पता है कि किस महीने कितना कमाया किस महीने कितना लॉस किया आई ऑलवेज न्यू ऑफ दैट नाउ माय फ्रेंड एक्चुअली रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ दिस इंसेंट कि यार मैं तेरे घर आया था एक दिन एंड योर डैड लॉस ऑफ मनी इन वन ऑफ द क्लाइंट्स एंड ही वॉज नॉट वेल बिकॉज यू नो ही जस्ट लॉस्ट लॉट ऑफ मनी इन वन टाइम बट आई आई ऑब्जर्व हाउ योर मदर बिहेव योर मदर मेड हिम सेट टोल्ड हिम एवरी थिंग गोन बी ओके Give him a glass of water. Mm. Don't do that. You know, you know, no need. Yeah, one place is bad, then the other place will be fine. Don't lose faith. Mm. And uh, I think that my mother has been that source of inspiration for all of us. Mm. Big, uh, I think, heart, <laughs> mother. Yeah, right. Sure. And uh, since we're talking about family, and I had this question coming in later uh, uh, about brothers as co-founders. And uh, one very interesting thing Nitesh told me is that. If you take the first initials of the three brothers, Pikant, Nitesh, and uh, yes, Prashant, Nishant, <laughs> Prashant, Nishant, and Pikant, P N R, P N R. So, <laughs> even business is in your blood. Was in your blood, <laughs> right? Our <laughs> parents ne shayad naam bhi isi tarah se rakha. Parents ne naam bhi isi tarah se rakha tha. Travel business mein jayenge Prashant, right. Nishant, Pikant, P N R bhi aaya. Correct. Our group mein P N R group hai. Hum tino ka jo group hai, usko P N R kehte hain. pna kehte ho right so but uh, my question was beyond that ki br- brothers as co-founders can be a great source of strength but again in families indian families particularly we know that brothers joint family with business can be there are a lot of issues also that may come up but it is very hard so like was this bonding right like this from day one or has it developed over time and so what has happened is uh, god has been great to us mm-hmm. that uh, in our mind we have always assumed that there is no alternate to, to not to be together. Always assume this. Hmm. Hmm. हमने कभी ऐसा सोचा ही नहीं कि हम कभी hmm. साथ नहीं होंगे. Sure. Okay. We have never assumed that this hmm. is all. And the difference between all three of us is one and a half, one and a half. I am the eldest, the Nishan one and a half years younger, the Mikhail one and a half years younger. Hmm. 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 क्या हमें है ना कभी दोस्तों की ज़रूरत ही नहीं पड़ी थी बचपन से. Hmm. We all were our friends, each hmm. other. Hmm. We just are friends. And then coming to uh, running a company together, of course, we all have our own domains, hmm. our expertise. Uh, hmm. जो डिसीजंस मैं ले रहा हूं निशांत के कांट पढ़ नहीं पड़ता है निशांत के लिए कांट वो नहीं पड़ता है देयर मल्टीपल अदर वेज बाय व्हिच वी कीप डिफरेंट बट आई एम एक्चुअली वन सेइंग समथिंग लार्जर देन दैट पॉइंट हम्म यार जब 
जब बिजनेस पे फटती है एंड वी हैव दिस अ लॉट यू नो एवरीवेयर मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर यू नो वाचिंग देयर अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस वेयर यू नो यू फील लाइक इट्स अ डूम्सडे राइट एवरी अल्टरनेट डे फील्स लाइक अ डूम्सडे राइट इन द करेक्ट या नाउ हु वुड यू ट्रस्ट like it's almost a matter of life and death right hmm hmm trust most hmm those hmm. patients hmm knowing that there is no other hidden agenda correct knowing that there is no other incentives for example hmm. between two corner i'm not saying it happens regularly but hmm. it's a possibility right uh, one co-founder may think that yaar ye ye cheez isliye bol raha hai ki isko zara fayda is wajah se ho raha hai correct kam kam karna padega hmm mehnat kam karni padegi isliye ye cheez zara bol raha hai hmm 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 brothers hmm अगर मैं कम मेहनत करूं तो निशान निकाल को प्रॉब्लम नहीं ना भाई तो ऐश कर रहा है क्या दिक्कत है इट्स लाइक दैट वी ऑल लिव टुगेदर आज भी साथ में ही रहते हैं हमारे दिमाग में ये कोई हिडन एजेंडा वाली प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है कभी राइट इट इज लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड एफर्ट या या एंड सर दिस इज अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आई एम गेटिंग ऑन द मेंटल हेल्थ एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट सो गौरव फॉर एग्जांपल वांट्स नो एज अ कोफाउंडर व्हाट यू डू टू मेंटेन योर मेंटल हेल्थ एंड व्हाट प्रिंसिपल्स इन लाइफ यू फॉलो डू यू टॉक टॉक अबाउट योर एवरीडे फील्स लाइक अ डूमस्डे and i think this is one one of the less talked about aspect of an entrepreneur's journey that the toll it takes on you and your family right and you have a strong ecosystem of family and brothers but beyond that in general what is your philosophy uh, of dealing with this mental stress the huge stress that comes with running a business right i uh, also want to know that again when your father suffered that huge loss the story that you told us what imp- and you saw your mother sort of consoling him and giving him strength what impression did it uh, leave you with See, you, I mean, mm-hmm. the younger me would say something else, and the current me would say something. So I am also very fluidic in the way I think about mental stress. Mm-hmm. Uh, the younger me wouldn't believe in any mental stress. The younger mm-hmm. me would say, "Ki bhaiya, kuch nahi hai, sab bakwas hai, mehnat karte ro." And mm-hmm. you know, as Geeta says that, "Karma se, vadikara se, ma falishu karna chala." Aap mm-hmm. ab kam mein lage ro, this will happen. Mental stress is very common. Sure. Uh, you know just Focus think reactions for being controllables yeah just think about doing what you need to do hmm. because uh, uh, i i have become a strong believer in karma hmm. and my philosophy my personal philosophy over here is hmm. ki geeta ne aisa kyu bola hai hmm. ki aapke haath mein sirf karma results nahi hai hmm. kyunki jo results hai they are accumulation of your multiple past lives uske paap aur punya ki wajah se bhi tumhe abhi result mil raha hai hmm. Hmm. mujhe jo result mil raha hai is matter hmm. grow hui hai zaruri nahi ki इस इस ट्रिप में मैंने क्या क्या किया हम लोगों ने क्या क्या किया उसकी वजह से इस ट्रिप ग्रो हुई है श्योर अरे पास लाइफ के पाप पुण्य है उसका भी क्यूमुलेशन है यहाँ पे उसकी वजह से भी इस ट्रिप ग्रो हुई तो कर तो हम डिसाइड कर ही नहीं सकते हैं ना कितनी भी मेहनत कर ली काम नहीं चला वो मेरा पूरा ना पाप था वो बैलेंस हो रहा है वो शायद जो अभी इतनी मेहनत करके उसका पुण्य मिला है वो शायद नेक्स्ट लाइफ में या फिर अगले किसी और काम में मिलेगा तो अगर आप ये समझ जाते हो कि इट्स ए क्यूमुलेशन ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ योर कर्मा यू के नॉट you are not a deciding person ki result tumhe is wale kaam ka isse milega bhi nahi milega correct yeah. and if you if you start believing in it then mental stress automatically becomes less that you're just doing your best hmm. how does i mean i hope you get the point i do i absolutely do and i think such a beautiful example and in not not always past punya and past pa but i think is my trip story to must kai baar ye sochta hu ki during is my trip the good deeds that you did paid you so well कोविड के टाइम में आपने कस्टमर्स को रिफंड किया यू आई आई नो द स्टोरी आई आई बीन द पर्सनल बेनिफिशियरी ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेटर्स दैट यू अरेंज्ड फ्रॉम चाइना ओवरनाइट फॉर सो मेनी पीपल एंड गिव देम फॉर फ्री टू द नीडी वंस एट कॉस्ट टू दोस हु कैन अफोर्ड इट एंड इमीडिएटली यू सॉ द बेनिफिट टू द बिजनेस इमीडिएटली इमीडिएटली सो यू डू बिलीव दैट कर्मा देयर इज एन इनसाइड स्टोरी अराउंड इट दिकान माय यंगर ब्रदर ही वांटेड टू बाय अ लैम्बोर्गिनी सिंस दिस चाइल्ड अब ये भी खरीदे वो बात अलग है लेकिन कोविड के टाइम पे ड्यूरिंग सेकंड वेव ही हैड केप्ट अ सेपरेट 6 करोड़ सेपरेटली कि भैया तो लैम्बोर्गिनी के लिए जाएगा ही ब्रोक दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग एंड ही यूज्ड दैट टू यू नो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट ऑक्सीजन कंसंट्रेटर्स फ्री टू व्हाट वी आर एनजीओस पूरा का पूरा पैसा उसमें लगा दिया उसने और वाज अ रियली बिग हार्ट फॉर हिम टू वेट फॉर फॉर सच अ यंग गाय एंड सच अ चाइल्डहुड ड्रीम हां चाइल्डहुड ड्रीम उसको छोड़ने के लिए तो वो and uh, immediately we saw the results afterwards from the third largest we became second largest hmm. Hmm. people pay you know if you trust your customers they pay you back man Correct. everybody and everybody can see through your intentions and people pay you back in hmm. hmm. such a positive story of karma and you know in the today's startup ecosystem there somebody had all this question ki there's so much incentive around vc funding and you know things become easy for them etc and we really need examples like is my trip to say 
कैन यू स्टिल बिलीव इन द गुड ऑफ द ह्यूमैनिटी यहाँ के हम आज भी कह सकते हैं जो हमें बचपन में सिखाया गया कि अच्छा कर्म करो उसके अच्छे फल मिलेंगे जब हम देखते हैं बेवकूफ है क्या <laughs> हम ही भले बन रहे हैं और दुनिया तो वैसे ही पैसे बना के निकल रही है तो वी नीड एग्जांपल्स लाइक माय ट्रिप एंड आई मीन ग्लैड दैट यू हैव आउट आउट देयर एंड आई थिंक वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू डू अवर स्मॉल बिट श्योर आई डोंट थिंक सो वी आर एनी फिलैंथ्रोपिस्ट इन एनी मैन इट्स जस्ट दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू अवर स्मॉल बिट सो गोइंग बैक टू द मेन थीम ऑफ द चैट शो व्हेन इज द स्टेइंग लीन पार्ट राइट बिकॉज़ द आई थिंक वन एज अ बूटस्ट्रैप बिजनेस इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अक्वायर कस्टमर्स बिल्ड द बिजनेस एटसेट्रा and i for the for the benefit of the audience i want to quote some statistics that helps them understand how lean this business really is so ease my trip does 8000 crores of gross booking every year and revenue of 700 crores right and we get 1000 crores it's impossibly difficult for me to imagine that this happens to the team of less than 750 with the employee benefit cost of only 52 crores And and marketing expense of 80 crore. 50 includes our call center employees. All the employees. जितने भी सारे competitors हैं, सब ने call center outsource कर रखा है. Correct. अगर किसी का number आपको 3000 दिखता है, तो उसका actual number 6000. 6000. Right. 6000. कितना? Bill के 8000 crore gross booking business with 750 employees and people cost of 52 crore and marketing cost of 80 crores. I mean, I know uh, businesses with revenue in zero or lakhs. running a people cost a bill of 100 crore plus and internal size is not very different in lot of things like i, I learn a lot from your uh, frugality so what is your like how did that happen i mean i cannot imagine like i'm i'm sure all the audience out there will not be able to imagine ki 8000 crore gross booking with 80 crores in marketing spend like let's say marketing to abhi shuru hua hai hamara humne to pehle 10 saal tak marketing kari nahi kari right so i mean what how what is that secret recipe i think there's a lot of bootstrap founders here who are struggling mm-hmm. to get off the mark and you know no, I'll, I'll actually yeah, answer this little bit in elaborate manner which will cover your it cost part as well mm. it wale ko bismein ha and then which is my next point that when the market is mm-hmm. super hot and you know all, all the techies were getting 5x high 6x high and you know everybody's bank broke at that point in time i really banish no, i have something to offer especially mm. on the it side because i understand ki mm. humne and again i'm i'm answering everything in seeing retrospect mm. Mm. मैं फॉरवर्ड लुकिंग स्टेटमेंट नहीं दे रहा हूँ ये तो मैं अब बता सकता हूँ कि पहले हमने क्या क्या किया था हमने क्यों किया था क्योंकि और कोई तरीका नहीं था तो इट्स नॉट दैट वी वर सो स्मार्ट दैट वी न्यू इट ऑल इज इट दैट नाउ आई नो कि व्हाट वर्क रिली वेल दिस इज आई विल से सो बेसिकली आप इमेजिन करो 2012 13 के अंदर इस माय ट्रिप चल रही है कंज्यूमर बिजनेस धीरे-धीरे ग्रो हो रहा है क्यों हो रहा है क्योंकि हम कन्वीनियंस फीस चार्ज नहीं करते हम अपना कॉल सेंटर खुद रन करते हैं हमने तो हर एक एजेंट को ही ट्रैवल एजेंट बना दिया हमारे हर एक कस्टमर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव को हमने ट्रैवल एजेंट बना दिया वे एवरी कॉल पे ही तुम्हें सारा जवाब देना है कॉल फॉरवर्डिंग नहीं होगी नहीं होगी क्योंकि उसका खर्चा भी लगता तो नहीं होगी कॉल फॉरवर्डिंग भी नहीं होगी अच्छा ओके हां हमने तो भैया फोन उठाया बात करी पूरा उसको चाहे उसको ट्रेन बस कुछ भी टिकट बनानी है सारा उसको दे दिया and uh, call forwarding वगैरह का चक्कर भी नहीं रखा but anyways uh, because we were doing better service and better price customer dheere dheere grow ho raha tha via purely via word of mouth purely via word of mouth that so, also this question also this is question how to acquire clients in the initial stage when you are bootstrap so it's just pure word of mouth purely via word of mouth there was no other means paise the nahi to kya karte marketing kaise karte it was purely via word of mouth ab jo is matter ki aaj bhi about 20 million people use is matter aap aaj bhi puchoge na रैंडमली ट्वेंटी मिलियन में से सौ लोगों को नाइनटी लोग कहेंगे मुझे मेरे चाताओं ने चाचा ने मामा ने किसी ने बताया वर्ड ऑफ माउथ हाँ लाइक ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन यू की अब हम जो मार्केटिंग के ऊपर स्पेंड करें वो मेजरली किस चीज पे करें बट दैट विल बी अटेंजेंशियल टॉपिक कवर दिस फर्स्ट पॉइंट फर्स्ट इमेजिन करो टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व थर्टीन में बिजनेस ग्रो हो रहा है बट यू डोंट है बैंक टू हायर प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर्स Hmm. दो दो लाख रुपए पर मंथ की सैलरी वाले लोग नहीं हायर कर सकते आप क्वालिटी hmm. एनालिस्ट नहीं हायर कर सकते ऑपरेशन hmm. मैनेजर्स हायर नहीं कर सकते आई आई टी एम के लड़के तो बहुत दूर की बात है hmm. Hmm. आप लोगों को हायर नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज यू डोट है मनी बट बिजनेस इज ग्रोइंग आप मेरी जगह तो कैसे सॉल्व करोगे आप कैसे सोल्व करोगे ना कि जो आपके पास में करंट रिसोर्स है उसी को उन्हीं को कुछ करा दे आपने जैसे बात करी थी सुनल को हमारा कॉल सेंटर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव था 
company For example, some of them became product managers. Some of them became operation guys. Some of them mm. became even finance guy mm. to help with it. Some of them mm. even became tech guys. Mm. I went to my tech head, Karishma, mm. right now at mm. this moment. Twelve mm. years ago, was a call center executive. Wow, call center executive. Mm. Even learned coding mm. while in this job. Mm. We learned coding, and mm. we did one good thing. We stuck on .NET. This is one value which I would want to add. We continue to stuck on .NET, and still our entire system runs on .NET, not on Python or Java. Mm. The entire fight in the entire VC world, mm. least funded startup, is for either Python or Java, not for .NET. Uh-huh. They have forgotten .NET. Uh-huh. It's my people are not coachable. Hence, my people are happy to get 20-25 percent hike every year. They mm. have to grow in that way because there aren't that many .NET companies who are running on .NET. Mm. we stuck on one particular uh, technology which people have forgotten and we are yeah. happy that they have they have forgotten about this technology mm. this is why i am able to train people better i mm. able so we usually hire from tier 3 tier 4 towns mm. put 6 months of training program for them and we train them on dotnet on our own code mm. problem is that since nobody is training on tier dotnet these days huh? and hence nobody wants to learn dotnet as well but yeah yeah we hire people And we train them ourselves. Mm, mm, This mm. is how we have kept our technology cost extremely low. This and is a counterintuitive view of the world because people uh, say always give you the latest technology and uh, but because internally, for example, PHP versus my, 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 point, my uh, point of view is that you should know about your business. That what is your heart of the business and what is the soul of the business. Mm. Yes, my business heart is technology. Everything happens on technology. Mm. But the soul of the business is customer service. Mm. And the soul is the one which actually grows your business. Mm. Heart is just pumping machine. You can mm. put two heart, you can put three heart, you can put four heart. Mm. And which is why we are the only online travel agent who run our own call center. Mm. Everybody else is outsourced mm. Mm. because we believe that's the soul of the company. Mm. Travel is a hospitality business, which is all about service. Mm. I mean, that is what we follow, and because of which the word of mouth spread. So mm. we service people better. Mm. Wow. There's so many questions that are answered <laughs> in, in this. Uh, ki how do you retain technology resources? How do you acquire your customers? I think I've answered how do I retain technology. Uh, But uh, just one, like I mean, this cleared my personal dilemma also. We are on, we have been on PHP, correct. and the world has moved to React. Stays. And there's so much pressure internally. Ki you won't be able to attract new talent if you go on React. If you don't move to React, nobody would want to join. This will become your biggest strength. Strength. Okay. This will become your biggest strength. Yeah, I think so I am spending almost about 30 crores on technology team right now mm. on annual basis. Mm. If I were on Java, it would easily be 250 million. And hence it would eat my entire profit. Wow! I, I'll, I'll explain why. If I were on Java, my attrition rate would be more than 50 percent. Right, right now, my attrition is 8 percent in my technology. Team. Mm. And you know that you have to spend at least two years on one employee to train them on your code. Correct. Yeah. You know the ones. I mean, of the twenty people who wrote his master code, seventeen mm. are still with us, man. They can decode a problem even in their sleep. Yeah, and I think the biggest takeaway for me, and I think for my audience, is that you know, don't go by the conventional wisdom. There's so much noise outside, but think know about your business. It is like, much better versus... to just do the opposite. Yeah, what people are doing. It is beautifully. It compounds beautifully over the period of time. And what you might think is your weakness may actually turn out to be your strength. It is one of the biggest strengths for the company, right? and uh, then now coming to team building right initial days uh, you as you rightly said uh, there's no money and this lot of question i see on that in the chat also that how do you attract the team with the team constantly leaves right people and, yes people and, absolutely leave but i'll tell you people the one whom you have treated very generously hmm. they stick around very long so okay. for example the ones who can the ones who know that they have grown in this company only because company saw strength in them hmm. So as I said, then we moved a lot of people from call center to the other departments, right? Correct. Uh. Those people feel indebted to the company. Mm. If it were not Ismatrip, nobody would have identified their talents. Mm. Sure. 
for people like sonal people like kashma and there's so many people like him mm, mm, mm. these people feel indebted to the company and right. they stay out for really really long and they right. almost act like founders themselves right yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, take on the owner take on the responsibility of ensuring that they, they they are the pillar of the excellence and everybody right. around them also works in excellence right so, and very true because i spoke to sunil for the audience sunil is the first employee who joined when the foodies my trip was formed and he said uh, uh, is my trip is not my bread and butter it's my blood i i can tell you this uh, i can name 50 people like sunil who would happily take bullet for his money and i think that's because that's you awesome. as, as a founder you, you showed conviction in their strength and you believed in them you gave them a chance when nobody else did and one more thing what has binded us really well the underdogness then yeah correct the uh, we Something always that, yeah yeah we were we always were chasing somebody really really big with mm-hmm. whom we had no chance against mm-hmm. let me put it this way mm-hmm. you know all these eight they were eight competitors who all had raised minimum 100 million dollars correct 15 lakh rupees leke baithe mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so all of us were really really binded with the mission that we have to prove that we can the yeah. underdog story actually played outside and inside both very correct well. yeah it, yeah to the customers as well it played really well hmm. and internally within the team also it played really really well it gave people purpose hmm. it, you know you know things right i mean hmm. I'll, i'll give you an example of uh, what happened in london uh, hmm. in london during world war 2 hmm. people you know a lot of people who were had paralysis for really long time hmm. uh, you know they stood up and they drove the ambulances they drove the fire trucks because nobody else was available hmm. people who who were in coma paralysis for years hmm. got up that day and was like okay i'm going to drive this ambulance i'm going to take care of my city i'm going to take care of my people hmm. people are far far more motivated hmm. when you give them purpose when you have purpose hmm. and as, yeah. as a company we always had a very strong purpose that we are going to show the world hmm. that money is not the means to the success yeah goosebumps uh, if i could show you right now <laughs> goosebumps uh, and this underdog i just want to expand on this underdog piece a bit more uh, so an is my trip story is underdog story we, uh, one of your employee said pehle dikhta kam tha bikta zyada hai dikhta zyada tha aur ab dikhta bhi zyada hai bikta bhi zyada hai and if i look at the employees themselves underdogs mm-hmm. to speak to them is i mean very differently you say yaar pata nahi kisse baat kar raha hu wo hindi mein baat kar raha hai mere se he's speaking to me in hindi and he does, he's speaking very not so polished english and you and would not imagine mind. that they're running businesses worth 100 crores etc right mm. so what is your take on being seen as underdog in the ecosystem and being silent silently building a you know it's, it's like it's like that uh, story now wo kaun sa hot frozen horse you know the the david versus goliath david versus goliath right yeah. if you didn't realize suddenly the this business erupts from somewhere and suddenly like oh wow i we heard this but is it is it that big so how is What is your take on being a underdog as a company, and you know? I'll, I'll tell you how. It it yeah. I told you how it helped uh, within the company, right? Let me tell you outside the company. Mm. How it helped. Mm. See, Sarvesh, if you ever go to a party, so you ever go to party? If you ever go to a gathering, right? Mm. Mm. What would you say to people? One plus one is equal to two, or you know a way by which one plus one is equal to eleven? Mm-hmm. What obviously talk about which is not obvious, right? Mm. That is how we come across smart mm. to people. Mm. and is my trip by not promoting itself that we don't charge convenience fees we gave people a weapon to just talk about it in 15 seconds and come out smart we gave our consumers the weapon hmm. see if i were telling this on tv that is my trip doesn't charge convenience fees hmm. then it's a public information hmm. why would anybody talk about it hmm. correct but by not take, talking about it, in fact even on our website for the longest time hmm. we never wrote that we don't charge convenience fees hmm. even on our website even hmm. on our app hmm. we never wrote that we don't charge convenience fees let that be surprise that mm. last page pe no additional charges come let mm. that be a moment of dopamine for people mm. oh charges did not increase mm. same 4300 mm. ticket 4300 at the time of the checkout mm. but at all other competitors website even on the airline website 4300 ticket will become 4700 ticket correct so let yeah. that be the dopamine moment for the people let mm. people talk about it themselves rather than us mm. any people about it Uh, gave us the edge that it actually became an undercurrent thing. Hmm. People talked about it, right? Why using X Y Z? Is my trip is cheaper be- just because they don't charge convenience fees? They will always be cheaper because they don't charge convenience fees. Fifteen hmm. seconds. All it takes is fifteen seconds for people to say this, right? Hmm. 
and it's not that we intentionally chose to allow this to happen mm. we did this because we didn't have money for marketing mm. <laughs> it just happened naturally right and uh, yeah this this worked out really well for us for a and, really long time and uh, in in a pre show chat you're talking about an ayb experiment etc what is that in year 2017 uh, we picked one particular city Hmm. Raipur. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Over there, we did. Uh, we put a lot of holding, saying hmm. that is my trip does not charge convenience fees. Hmm. We geo tagged in Google advertisement, and we only did this Google advertisement in Raipur that is my trip does not charge convenience fees. Hmm. Yes, for a couple of years, we did see growth from Raipur, hmm. but right now Raipur is not one of the best performing cities for the company. In the longer term, it hmm. is not one of the best performing cities in the company. And them. because the undercurrent vanished, which was your strength, you made a public. Wow, that is only. Wow, wow. All right, uh, that's interesting. Uh, I have a question uh, uh, from. Uh, there's a question on uh, initial stage, right? We were talking about uh, finding underdogs and giving them opportunities. But was there something specific that you were looking for when you were hiring these call center representatives? Like, how did you know that? So I'll tell you my framework when yeah. I'm hiring. Mm-hmm. my framework in my mind always is that people have four unique things and they all do not over they do not overlap on each other mm-hmm. one is integrity second is hard work mm-hmm. third one is curiosity mm-hmm. and fourth one is skills mm-hmm. and the order in which i prefer mm-hmm. why people is highest integrity mm-hmm. then curiosity then hard work and then the skills sure this okay. is the order in which i usually hire people Hmm. skill is the last one because you know skills can be developed it only takes a matter of 3 4 months for anybody hmm. if if okay. you have all those first three components hmm. integrity that means if you have said that you're going to do it you're going to do it hmm. you're not going to waste your time you're not going to play around with the company you're going to be efficient hmm. for the, for yourself and for the company hmm. sure curiosity leads to everything right you know if you are curious enough you know you don't have to learn you don't have to be a coder anybody can become a coder you just need to have a very high level of curiosity Yeah, and hard work to back it. That's it. Right. Integrity, curiosity, hard work, and then skills. This mm. is how we judge people. And uh, I see one question on how do you judge the integrity? Just exactly. I was about to ask that. How do you judge curiosity, hard work, and integrity? Yeah. Very smart, I I have created a questionnaire of around there are about twenty two questions. There about. Do you have 20. that with you right now? Can you show us what those questions I are? I don't have that right now with me. But I'll just give you an example around. Sure. Yeah. You know, the question is, and it's 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 not scientific in any sense. Uh, it's not done by any company. I have we have created it internally. Mm. We give people two scenarios. Mm. This is scenario A and this is scenario B. Mm. There is no win or loss in mm. both the cases. In one case, you are outshining your integrity, and in one case, you are shining your let's say discipline, mm. or you are shining your uh, you know uh, uh, hard work, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. and let people pick and mm-hmm. eventually on all those 22 questions there are certain marks which are given on the basis mm-hmm. of integrity on the basis of hard work on the basis of curiosity on the basis of skill mm-hmm. and eventually the ones with the highest integrity gets the priority then the curiosity then the hard work then the skill i'll connect with you offline and take the questionnaire i think we'll de- immediately <laughs> deploy it in our process i said that please take everything with a pinch of salt <laughs> you know anyway i think uh, <laughs> if i'm okay with you we'll like to take that and publish it to our community and so that they can see what questions you ask i uh, this we don't use that anymore we have to be a little bit more scientific uh, right. than what we were before right uh, but i'm happy to share it right. these are the questions wow okay uh yeah i think uh, hi so you have this questionnaire which helps you Uh, evaluate people on these three software ask which are which can't be assessed by uh, any test i think there's so much that all of us are learning uh, from this uh, conversation uh, before i move on to uh, my next question i want to take two questions from the audience uh, one is from venkat who's saying for marketplace it's a chicken egg issue right you don't have sellers you don't get buyers you don't have buyers you don't get sellers so how do you break this deadlock in your case obviously you had some of this relation already built so but so what do you do this Mm. The first thing you always have to build is suppliers, the sellers, Seller. and then the buyers come. In. It is always it's a standard rule in marketplace. First, you have to get uh, basically the ones who can sell you their product on your platform, mm. and mm. then you get the buyers, right? Mm. Um, in our case, we were fortunate because we built relationship with the airlines, B two B company, and hence we had the sellers, mm. the airlines, which is the hotels. When we mm. started the B two C company, right? Mm. Correct. And then we got the consumers, mm. which is uh, the buyers. Mm. Afterwards, mm. 
Hmm. It's a very standard approach. Uh, you have to always get sellers first. You have to always get sellers first. Sure. I mean, there's no chicken and egg over there. It's very clear. You have to always get sellers first. Yeah. If I can add, Venkat, from my experience, same thing happened in Tanshala's case also. Which is it's a, it's a marketplace. We needed candidates and companies, and we also scraped listings from the internet Absolutely. to build a supply. Yeah, yeah. Of, um, the internships that were already available on Internshala. Correct. And then we went to the college and saying that there are 100 internships listed on Internshala. This is the only way. Okay, perfect. So sellers first and then buyers will come. Because otherwise buyers will go empty handed and they won't come back again. Correct. While See, sellers are always happy to. Wherever you are selling to a, a B2C customer, hmm. C, consumer, hmm. he has to see value. Hmm. Otherwise, he will never come back. Correct. Yeah. Businesses can meet. Correct. Yeah. Mostly supply is coming from the businesses. And they are happy to be on another platform. They are happy to be on another platform. They are happy to grow along with you. Hmm. They are happy to wait around. You make it very clear to them. Hmm. To always, always, you know, hmm. overperform and under, you know, basically un, un, what you under say? promise, over deliver. Under, under promise, over deliver, right? Correct. So you always tell them that, abhi nahi aega. I will not get you too much of uh, traffic. Business right away. Huh? I will not give you too much. And you please give me incentives accordingly. Hmm. So that you have marked it very clearly. Hmm. Don't give me much commission right now. Give me slightly better. Give me slightly hmm. better later. Hmm. Give, when hmm. I hit this milestone. Hmm. So it's, hmm. it's very evident. It's very clear. Right. Another question I want to take from is Arash Deep. Uh, and especially in the context of our global expansion ambitions. Uh, so he say based on what we learned so far, what advice you give to businesses considering global expansion? What, they, what are the top one, two, three things that they should have uh, on their minds? See, um, first you have to get your um, cash cow extremely well fed and ready for international expansion. At ease my trip, our last year profit after tax was about 140 crores. Mm. Afterwards, we are thinking about international expansion, right? Mm. We waited for 15 years mm. for this moment to come. And mm. then we are thinking, I mean, we never got too ambitious. And as a bootstrap company, you have to keep extremely high amount of focus, right? So that is why we only focused on India market for a really long time. Mm. And once we see that there is a cash cow, once which is generating decent amount of profit year on year, mm. then only you can start experimenting with the other fields. And that is how we decided to launch easematrip.ae. Mm. Basically, it's another big language to middle mm. population. Mm. Now, that that is also playing really well for us. Uh, mm. Imagine if I am the most cost efficient travel agent, mm. online travel agent in India. Mm. Imagine if I am competing with companies like Danata or Expedias, which I mm. Uh, how well would I be placed? Because all my operations and my technology mm. still continue to run off. Mm. 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 So, hence, uh, I am actually in a very good spot. And I, there are only two, three kinds of e commerce one where you're delivering the package, and one you're just giving an email. Mm. Thankfully, in my case, it's just an email. You book a ticket, I email you the ticket, my job is done. Mm. Hence, I can literally do it for entire world while being in India. Correct. Without having to have a presence anywhere else. Mm, mm. So fortunately, my AOV is very high. Average order values in mm. you know, in India, it's about 10,000 rupees. Mm. And it's even more. Mm. And we have already built relationship with the hotels, with the airlines and mm. all that carry forward. So now we are only enjoying the fruits of all the hard work mm. which we have put in the past. Correct. Really yes, win, win the home battle first. One battle at a time. You Make sure absolutely. You have to, to find your cash cow first. Cash coffers. Find your cash coffers. You have to find your cash coffers and not get too aggressive to do everything together. Sure. You have to find your cash coffers uh, mm. to be able to go uh, global. Um, mm. Our Dubai business is a. We are a listed company. You guys can check out our Dubai numbers. They are growing massively. I think our Dubai business uh, will break even in one or two months. It's only uh, sorry in one or two quarters. It's only been five quarters since we have mm. uh, started Dubai business. Mm. And uh, primarily the reason is that over there as well we are not charging convenience fees. Hmm. While my competitors are charging 2000 rupees per ticket as hmm. convenience fees. Hmm. So hmm. we are also sowing the right seeds for the future. We are also not in rush. Just hmm. like we did in India, you know, do it profitably, hmm. do it well. Hmm. The same ideology continues over there. Hmm. Uh, we are not in rush. We are just sowing the right seeds for the future. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so Mahinder, Sakina and to certain extent Pranjali, uh, Prashant has already spoken about you know, retaining IT talent and how what the secret behind uh, retaining IT talent is. They st stuck with the technology that is not in demand, which is very counterintuitive, which it sort of retains the staff. So Sakina wants to know that don't they train themselves and then leave you after that, which is which happens often in the technology teams that you train somebody and then they leave you for a better offer. Uh, I mean, if you keep them 
well motivated by giving them a good purpose and by hiking their salaries regularly mm. they don't necessarily feel the need to leave mm. especially when they are not getting counter offers of 100% hike correct yeah especially when they are not getting counter offers of 100% hike from anywhere else yeah 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 uh, uh pranjali has another question uh, which i think is very relevant as a bootstrap early stage startup what is more valuable saving office rent by having remote teams or having entire team collaborate in person it's a hot take <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be in media tomorrow, but uh, my hot take is that uh, startups are meant to be all in together, uh, all in together, all at one moment, all in together. Uh, once you become big company, you can afford to have the luxuries of see communication of an idea hmm. over a phone or in person. Correct. We all know. Correct. It's so much different. Yeah. communication of an idea the energy can get vibe can doesn't get passed on yes yeah communication and most of these ideas are work in progress hmm. one person says something other person says something back then you work on it then you change it a bit hmm. it's extremely hard to have all of that hmm. done. and i am a big advocate that till the time you have found your cash cow stay all in together once you have found your cash cow maybe that's a time when people can actually Uh, because then you're just repeating. Uh, by the way, I think that success is a very lousy teacher. Failure teaches you ten times more than really? success. Because when you found a success mantra, all you're doing is repeating. You don't want to let that formula go. Hmm. Correct. And you're failing. You want hundred things to try hmm. at that moment. Correct. And hence, you actually learn so much more from failure than the success. Wow. So once you have identified a decent success, then you can go remote. Correct. Uh, but till the time you have not found your PMF, as everybody says. Uh, hmm. It's better to be doing. Correct. Yeah. Well, I will make sure that. It's it, enough. Yeah. No. 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 You. 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 You gave a very safe and good answer. <laughs> I, I can't make a statement saying Prashant. He says remote work doesn't work. Sab ke sab aao. I will be actually in office. Uh, Twelve hours in front of my eyes. I need to keep a check on them. I need to see who's working, who's not. But uh, you, you didn't say that, so we, we won't be able to sort of call that out uh, in media. Uh, we are sort of end. Uh, in, nearing towards the end of this uh, I mean, we have 10 more minutes I will, uh, so we will wrap up by exact 5 right uh, i have uh, to take more questions correct uh, so one of this uh, another thing i also wanted to ask is uh, how do you deal with a failure as an individual and this is linked to the mental health part also but also as an organization right mm-hmm. and how do you make sure that uh, if things is start with so many failures right out of 100 you try 90 95 99 will fail Fail. And at some point, as an individual, founder is always optimistic, very positive about life, and you know, as to keep the team's morale also high. But team also sees that too, right? That try ki ja rahe, fail ho ja rahe. So, in in such situations, as an individual and as an organization, what is your approach? How do you take that? I'll talk more about individual right now in that case, okay? Hmm. Uh, because again, it might be a little bit controversial way for me to say. Hmm. I believe that uh, you have to find what makes you. who you are like and not your designation not uh your family mm. not where you live but you have to find your satya satya is not same as truth satya is even more deeper you have to find your satya of who you are mm. um are you a person uh, who gives up things on easily are you a person who's well determined mm. continue to make strides uh, mm. as an entrepreneur you have to be there's no other alternate Hmm. Persistent. I mean, hmm. now if persistent, no, no. If you're not persistent in life, hmm. uh, if you give up easily, hmm. you're meant, not meant to be entrepreneur. You're there. You can excel in so many other things. It's better right. to not be an entrepreneur. Right. And uh, persistence is a must. I mean, it's a prerequisite criteria. Hmm. It's a prerequisite yeah. criteria. And I will tell you a mental model by which I try to be persistent. Hmm. Besides the Gita thing, which I follow. Hmm. Besides that, I'll tell you another mental model. Hmm. In shaping up who you are. Hmm. In finding your satya, hmm. your failures help a lot. Correct. I yeah. have become me hmm. because I have had my unique sets of failures. Hmm. My unique sets of failures hmm. as a permutation and combination. It's actually hmm. a permutation combination of what happened first and then what happened later. Hmm. Are unique to me. Hmm. Hmm. My my, it is not applicable to anybody in this hmm. world. Hmm. And which is why it makes hmm. me who I am. correct my my success they say right that failures is a stepping stone on success i correct. there is no better way to understand that mm. you are unique the the knowledge the mm. 
additional information which you carry mm. is mm. information is asymmetry which you are carrying mm. only you are carrying that information asymmetry because of your failures correct if those failures did not exist you would not have that knowledge correct you would not have that understanding mm. so there's a uh, song by dino james uh, i'm hoping that there are uh, fans of dino james out over here uh, if the fans of dino james in the audience please give a shout please <laughs> give, give so, a heart fly a heart yeah. so his, uh, in his one of his music uh, he says uh, the the song is unstoppable huh. he says that your uh the hindi line i'll say it in hindi in english it will lose it out in the translation hmm. bas ab itna jaan le ki kaam ke hai tere aansu aur tere dard unhi se chala aur tu bana unstoppable it's it's your your tears and your pain hmm. only made you unique to hmm. who you are and hmm. that is only making you unstoppable who you are unstoppable you are. right okay and uh, just just enjoy that journey uh, hmm. god has better plans for you Hmm. uh he's making you either pay your karma or gain some karma correct the plans for you and you know let the mental stress be away because you're not in your control of your results you're not in control of your results so don't worry about it control of what you can do you sound very much like mahendra singh dhoni when you say that <laughs> well i wish i were 1% of what he is uh, i'm i you exude you exude similar calm <laughs> I'm I'm not at all like Mahendra Singh Dhoni. I know him, and I wish I could even be a part of a thumbnail of what he is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, since we're talking about failure, and we have a couple of minutes, five more minutes. Uh, uh, what were your biggest uh, failures? If publicly, you want to declare multiple failures. Uh, okay, multiple. I mean, I wouldn't call them as a failure again, right? With yeah. all that I know, uh, yeah. my uh, my lesser but uh, done startups. I have had two of them actually. Uh, near, one, near group near group near group yeah near yeah, group and one is india kelo mm-hmm. i have done two other startups while being part of these market uh, that's one thing which uh, bootstrap allows you you know you're not you don't have any boards you don't have any people to tell you what to do mm-hmm. and what not to do mm-hmm. you can uh, have your side hustles mm-hmm. while doing whatever you want to do and uh, you can experiment you can mm-hmm. fail even more you can uh, understand world better mm-hmm. um, you know mm-hmm. once you raise money from someone you're unable to not to do other things mm-hmm. as what i've been told Mm. So basically, that is what we, uh, you know. I got as a you know. I think it was a strength to be able to do multiple things at the same time. I've had a couple of uh, startups that didn't work out the way it did. Mm. Uh, calling them a failure would be wrong because uh, one of them even did give exit of five times, but it didn't scale up to the way uh, to the level we wanted to. Mm. But uh, yes, uh, I think that a lot of those learnings uh, go in each matter. For example, in Near Group, mm. we created a, one of the interns actually at Near Group. Uh, mm. Did a friend. she was from philippines mm. she used to create cartoons mm. uh, signifying the value of your i'm not going to go into what near group used to do mm. but she used to create funny cartoons mm. uh, of what near group can do for you funny mm. cartoons like mm. you know it's a, it's it's a cartoon series mm. and that got super viral mm. each of those uh, images would have like 2 million views 5 million views mm. uh, because people can relate to it right mm. near group near group had about 62 million users mm. at one point of time without mm. any money spent correct i use that for ease my trip now huh. i use that for ease my trip we what do you mean for ease my trip the if you go to ease my trip's page on facebook you will see we have created a lot of cartoon characters mm. that are basically exhibiting how ease my trip can help people right so, can i if i can use that opportunity to plug intern shala so intern can do wonders so an intern in philippines made these cartoons for prashant absolutely. which got him the 62 million users on near group uh, near group i mean uh, that intern and the company continued probably should be the ceo of the company ceo of the company so intern can be ceo of the company you are looking for smart interns you know where to look <laughs> uh, thank you prashant for giving us the opportunity for me to plug intern shala i think the last question is very philosophical and this whole conversation is very philosophical maybe we we'll land on that Uh, are you uh, uh, happy with your journey and success now? Nanya wants to know: Are you happy with the journey and success now? Do you feel every struggle and loss you faced been worth the result you achieved uh, now? I don't think so. We are meant to be content. That is one flaw I will die with, probably. Okay, to not, not content. be content. Yeah. Okay, that's one flaw. I would call it as a flaw hmm. in the overarching things of my nirvana moksha. Yeah. It is a flaw to not to be content. and uh, i i've stayed in the monastery for about 20 days uh, mm. leaving my phone leaving my laptop behind uh, mm. it was in the top of himalayas in nepal 
Mm. And I did ask the monk the same question that there are certain flaws I believe I have, mm. and I don't see a way to get out of it. Mm. And she gave me an answer which literally, you know, it I felt like almost hundred kgs weight was off my shoulder mm. by her answer. And her answer was mm. with whatever flaws I told. I'm not going to tell you publicly the flaws which I have. You told this one. One. This uh, one. Uh, it's a huge list. <laughs> it's a huge list. Uh, she said that. She you know, almost firstly laughed at it. Mm. She said, "Shan, why do you believe that you have to correct all your flaws in this life? Why do you believe that all your flaws are meant to? You have already attained so much in this life. Probably mm. your purpose of life for this life is solved. Mm. And there are certain flaws which you will carry for the next life. Mm. And, you know, the entire nature, whatever you call it, is will give you opportunities to correct those flaws. Mm. So you don't have to be in rush to mm. correct all your flaws." Mm. Be happy with it. I mean, if you bask in so much of your glory, mm. why can't you accept your flaws as well? Yeah, and be okay with that. Mm. So I'm trying to be okay with whatever flaws I have, and contentment is definitely one of the flaws I have to live in this life that I am not going to attain it. <laughs> right, but in a way, it, it is good for the in, I think the country and the startup ecosystem. That means we, we can see more exciting stories than ventures. Yeah, than we have seen. It's an NBFC I've started, uh, basically yeah. lending to MSME, mm. and uh, see what best we can do for the country. Mm. To be honest. Yeah, uh, Ruchika, thank you, thank you to you too. Uh, you are also doing great. You've had first intern. That means you are giving somebody an opportunity to become a CEO uh, <laughs> one day, you know, as Prashant said. And I, uh, on that note, uh, Prashant, I think we'll close uh, this session. It has been absolutely fantastic. One of the best sessions I had till date. I think community it reflects the feedback that you're seeing. Uh, mm-hmm. Right here, uh, everybody has learned so much, and I think we learned so much from you because you are so relatable, both in terms of the journey as a founder. All of us are bootstrapped or very limited resources, and I think the ground, I ground ground thing, you are, uh, yeah. on this particular part, mm-hmm. India is extremely entrepreneurial as a country mm-hmm. by statistics. Mm-hmm. Harvard did a research mm-hmm. and said that the ones who graduate from the college from India, eighty-three mm-hmm. percent of them want to become an entrepreneur. Want not become want mm-hmm. to become an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. While the worldwide average is about fifty percent, mm. mm. so India innately has entrepreneurial spirit. Mm. Now, if we talk about all these eighty-three percent people, clearly we will not have enough capital to fund all of them. Correct. Clearly, we will not have that enough mm. capital. Mm. Mm. And if at all I could add any value to anybody's life, would mm. be that capital is clearly mm. not the means to the success. It's mm. clearly not the means. To the that is the only value I would want to share. That. You know, in fact, there are so many positives you you would face in your businesses. Hmm. You would you would find in your businesses hmm. by being rich. Yeah, and I think that what you said earlier, so money is not the means to success. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a uh, uh, that's a note we'll end this session on. Capital is not means to success, and Prashant has led the way, showed us the way, and told us uh, the way, and we all will learn from it. and on that note uh, prashant thank you so much for taking your time out we really enjoyed this conversation and to everybody here thank you for giving us your time and yes. joining us in this session i hope you learned as much as i did and as i said building the right team is the one of the most critical aspect of building a successful venture and hiring young fresh blood into your team can do wonders to your team uh, and thank you for being on intern shala and giving so many millions of youngsters a chance uh, to start their career with you and not just monetary terms but the guidance and the mentorship that they receive from you adds a lot of value to their lives so thank you so much for being uh, with intern shala with that we'll uh, pause this here once again thank you everyone have a great evening ahead take care bye bye